Our other top story tonight, Mercy Health and Anthem still have not reached an agreement, threatening thousands of Valley patients who have Blue Cross Blue Shield. It would put them out of network starting October 1st. Yeah, and now Anthem Medicare Advantage patients are being told that their coverage with Mercy could end. Corey McRae got to the bottom of this issue, and he joins us live with what he uncovered. Corey? Good evening, guys. Yeah, both sides hoping to work out a deal, but bottom line, Anthem claims that Mercy is leveraging its patience as a negotiating tactic. Meanwhile, uh, Mercy says that the insurance provider uh, owes them plenty of money. One of the nation's biggest health insurance providers and biggest health systems are headed for a breakup if a deal isn't reached by October 1st, leaving Anthem Medicare Advantage patients at a big disadvantage. Uh, Mercy is trying to force higher costs on Anthem's members, members that are covered by their employer or a part of the Affordable Care Act. Which Lomana says Mercy has done by terminating its contract with Medicaid patients back in July and it's threatening to do with Medicare patients if a deal isn't reached in 24 days. While not the majority of its members, about 5,000 residents in the area already are or could be impacted by these changes. Mercy Health says they've been negotiating with Anthem for months to get fairly reimbursed for health care already provided to patients and have yet to reach a deal. Anthem says that's simply not true. Uh, they allege roughly $93 million in late claims, but that is not based on actual claims data. And when we've asked Mercy, they've refused to share any actionable or supporting data to justify that number. Mercy Health responded with this statement saying they've provided documentation around late and unpaid claims to Anthem and has also asked for senior leaders to meet, but those requests have been ignored adding that an agreement cannot be reached if Anthem refuses to participate in negotiations. Anthem does tell me that members covered by the Affordable Care Act or through their employer will not lose coverage. With more local news, I'm Corey McRae.